Welcome to the video lecture series of digital image processing. Today's topic is image compression. Today I will discuss multiple choice questions based on image compression. Let us begin. First question is digitizing the image intensity amplitude is known as quantization. You have studied that digitization along the coordinates is known as the sim uh, sampling while along the intensity amplitude it is known as quantization so b is the correct answer question number two is compressed image can be recovered back by which of the particular process it is image contrast or image compression or image enhancement or image decompression. So with the use of image decompression, compressed image can be recovered back. This is the correct answer. Question number three is digital video is a sequence of four options have been given coordinates, pixels, frames and matrix. So digital video is actually a sequence of frames. So let us mark C as a correct answer. Question number four is information is the which particular kind of data is related to the information whether it is a raw data, concrete data, meaningful data or option is not given over here. So information is related with the meaningful data. It means C is the correct answer. Question number 5 is coding redundancy works on. You must have studied the various kinds of redundancy. There are four types of redundancy. So coding redundancy works on intensity. B is the correct answer. Question number 6 is source of code assigned is known as nibble byte code word or word so code word is actually the correct answer question number seven is every run length pair introduces new new for what coordinates intensity pixels or frames so every run length pair introduces new intensity so b is the correct answer let us check this is correct Next question is, if the pixels are reconstructed without error mapping, then it is known as reversible, irreversible, temporal or facimal. Which particular kind of process is this? When the pixels are reconstructed without error, it is known as reversible. Correct one. Question number nine is, in coding redundancy technique, we may use variable length code, fixed length code, both of the above or answer is not listed over here. So in coding redundancy technique, we may use variable length code as well as fixed length means answer is C. Next question, morphology refers to what? Morphology refers to pixels frames, matrix or shapes. So morphology is actually refers to the shapes. Correct answer. Question number 11 is saving percentage is given as. You have studied about the saving percentage. What is the formula? How to write it mathematically? So saving percentage can be written as 1 minus N2 upon N1. A is the correct answer. Question number 12 is information per source is known as sampling, quantization, normalization or entropy. So information per source is known as the entropy. So D is the correct answer. Question number 13 is if range is given as 0 to L minus 1. Here L refers to what? L is actually the number of intensity levels. So D is the correct answer. Question number 14 is 
compression is usually done for saving of what bandwidth storage or compression is not required or both the options a and b means bandwidth and storage compression is done for saving of bandwidth as well as the storage means let us mark d as a correct answer question number 15 is system of symbols to represent an event is known as byte nibble code or word you can pick this answer very quickly it is a code next question is histogram equalization of an image refers to what sampling quantization normalization or framing so in case of histogram histogram equalization normalization of image is being actually done let us mark c this is the correct answer question number 17 is about in histogram equalization of an image intensity changes are whether the intensity changes are low high invisible or visible so in case of histogram equalization because normalization process takes place so intensity changes are visible d is the correct answer question number 18 is source of an event itself known as read all the options carefully it is memory source zero source zero memory source or non zero memory source source of an event is known as zero memory source c is the correct answer question number 19 is replication of the pixel you must have studied about the replication interpolation so replication is what it is a spatial redundancy temporal or both the options or answer is not listed over here so replication of pixel is known as spatial and temporal both redundancy means c is the correct answer question number 20 is information which is ignored by human eye is known as what is that particular information whether that is a spatial redundancy temporal redundancy irrelevant information or coding redundancy so that particular information which is ignored by human eye is known as irrelevant information means c is the correct answer next question is what is the data rate at which usually internet delivered what is that particular speed four options have been given 65 kbps 56 kbps 24 and 42 so 56 kbps is actually the data rate this is the correct one question number 22 is information lost when it is expressed mathematically that type of information is known as how to represent it how to understand it read all the options noiseless theorem markov process fidelity criteria or finite memory source so information lost when it is expressed mathematically is actually the fidelity criteria answer is c question number 23 is error in any image is referred as noise pixels coordinates or frames so error in any kind of image is known as noise a is the correct answer question number 24 is formula which is pr is equal to n upon mn where mn is the size of the image is used to represent spatial redundancy temporal redundancy irrelevant information or coding redundancy so if you remember the formula of coding redundancy you can pick the option very quickly answer is d next question a formula is being given which is written as 1 minus 1 upon c here what do you mean by c what is c c is actually the compression ratio you can mark this option very quickly let us check this is the correct one 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज इरेलीवेंट डेटा इज सेट एज इरेलीवेंट डेटा इज रॉ डेटा मीनिंगफुल डेटा रिडेंडेंट डेटा और सिक्वेंशियल सो इरेलीवेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन इरेलीवेंट डेटा इज एक्चुअली दी रिडेंडेंट वन सो सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन इज नेम द टेक्निक विच इन्वॉल्व रिडक्शन इन डेटा सो डेटा रिडक्शन इज डन by the process which is known as image compression correct answer question number 28 which of the following is not a type of data redundancy here you have to pick that particular option which is not a type of data redundancy read all the options spatial is a type of data redundancy temporal is a type coding is a type it means c is that option which is not a type of redundancy let us check it this is correct as well question number 29 is redundancy of data can be represented by the formula formula is 1 minus 1 upon c we have discussed one question based on this particular thing 1 minus so a is the correct answer question number 30 is transforming the difference between adjacent pixels is known as it is mapping you have done a multi many questions based on this so transforming the difference between adjacent pixels is known as mapping means b is the correct answer question number 31 is simplest way of compression is by removing either information or data superfluous data or meaningful data so simplest way is to removing superfluous data means this is the answer is c question number 32 is process of inserting data on the image is known as what is the process where data is to be data has to be inserted on a image this is actually watermarking answer is correct as well you must have done number of computer programs for watermarking where you are trying to insert the data on the image so you can pick the answer very quickly question number 33 is shannon's theorem is also known as shannon's theorem is also known as noiseless coding theorem c is the correct answer next question is for which type of operation encoder is used here options have been given as equalization watermarking compression and enhancement so encoder is actually used to encode the information or the data which is to be transmitted and it is being involved compression this is the correct answer question number 35 is name the type of coding that is based on entropy of the source four options have been given huffman coding entropy coding lossless compression or lossy so entropy coding is a technique which is based on the entropy of the source b is the correct answer question number 36 is name the type of coding that is based on the prediction of subsequent data it is predictive coding you must remember all these things which type of coding is based on what and is used in which particular application so answer for this uh, question number 36 is c question number 37 is name the process of gradual compression following an underline order of priority is known as huffman coding entropy coding predictive coding or progressive coding so progressive coding is that particular process let us check this is a correct answer next question is mathematical model of human auditory system is known as 
whether this is a compression model, lossless model, Markov model or psychoacoustic model. So mathematical model which is based on human auditory is known as psychoacoustic model means answer is D. Question number 39 is name the type of coding that is based on mathematical transforms. Which type of coding is based on mathematical transform? So transform coding is that one. Let us check. This answer is correct. Name the type of coding that is based on blocks of data. So the type of coding which is based on the blocks of data is known as vector quantization. This is the correct answer as well. As I have told you, you must remember all the types of coding techniques which can be used in image compression means for which particular purpose which is used and which type of coding is based on what. Mul many questions you may find based on these types of codings. Moving ahead, question number 41 is name the compression algorithm that preserves data with no loss means here loss is not being so it's a lossless compression answer is a question number 42 is which type of coding algorithm uses single code word for a string of characters so arithmetic coding is that coding which uses single code word for a string of characters this is the correct answer Question number 43 is, which type of coding process involves multiplying each transform coefficient by the corresponding elements in zonal mass? It is a zonal coding. Correct answer. Question number 44 is, which of the following coding technique is a variable length coding? Huffman coding technique is a variable length coding. You must have studied this particular question number of times. So A is the correct answer. Question number 45 is name the compression algorithm that incurs data loss means where loss of the information takes place and that type of compression algorithm is known as lossy compression algorithm means B is the correct answer. Next and last question of this video lecture. How many types of redundancy exist? Options are given as 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct answer is 4. Because you may recall all the types of redundancy. One first is coding redundancy. Second is interpixel redundancy. Third is psychovisual redundancy. And fourth is chromatic. It means answer is 4. Option B is the correct one. Yes, this is correct. Thank you so much for watching this video.